All right, so you're uh, you're level thirty-eight. Uh, you're ready to change your class. Which path do you take? Uh, you know, the warrior monk or the uh, divine fist? Which one's better? Well, let's have a look. So this is the warrior monk, and uh, with the new class, you get a new class passive. So status effect or stat decrease canceled when using a class strike so uh, I mean it's uh, could be useful um, normally you just use a stardust herb or a uh, twinkle rain but you know hey you could uh, throw out a, uh, a one bar uh, class strike so I mean it's nothing to write home about. Alright, so the light path, as you know, had the uh, just a phenomenal class strike, the spin kick. Uh, hits everyone. It's uh, massive AoE. Lots of hits. Lots of uh, chances for crits. Very good. So, Warrior Monk, he gets a single target uh, class strike. Um, does more damage than all the other ones due to uh, the fact that it's a it's of a higher tier. This is a purely single target uh, strike. Um, it's really not that good, to be honest. You're still going to be using uh, spin kick with uh, the warrior monk here. All right, so let's take a look at uh, the warrior monk and his abilities here. So the warrior monk as opposed to going Divine Fist is Kevin's support class. Uh, he gets Attack Saber and uh, so obviously that means he's gonna get a Saber here so let's just go ahead and do this first so uh, mm, let's start here first okay so Intelligence nothing here just you're not going to use any of this stuff. You're not going to waste points on it. You're not going to uh, slot it in. Of course, intelligence does uh, contribute to class strike damage, but I mean, you're not going to waste any points. Same deal with stamina. You're only going to go nine, and you're going to leave it there till the end of the game. Uh, when you're at, you know, very close to max levels, then you can max these out if you want. Um, let's look at spirit. All right, so with the Warrior Monk path, he gets a multi-target healing light. Now, this has more more value and more weight than a single target healing light for the simple fact that um, you just have so many healing items that are single target. So you have the candies, which heal uh, 200 HP, but by the time you're, you know, 38 and start getting uh, further into the game it's it's uh, 200 points really isn't really isn't gonna cut it but it's still there to heal outside of you know battle or you know whatever uh, the second uh, healing item that you that you get and you're probably gonna have 99 of both of them by now is the chocolate these are a 500 point HP heal um, those are still gonna be useful and finally you will have the uh, you'll have the full heal with the honey um, they just heal everything and again uh, you're just gonna have so many of these items honey elixir that a single target heal really isn't um, as useful uh, however poto oils these heal everyone and poto oils are uh, multi-target uh, heal light. The deal with these are in battle you only get nine items. Nine of these. You're only going to get nine. So having a uh, multi-target heal light is actually quite nice because you can just throw this out as many times as you want. So uh, this is this is good. But then again, if you're, you know, you're paying attention to all these little videos and you're, you know, thinking for yourself, um, you know, 
healing is it's still nice to have. You're always going to be taking damage throughout the game and until you're at the very, very end and you're just setting things up for a one-shot. But outside of that, you know, it's still nice to have. Um, so to refresh, uh, two through six, these are your neutral uh, class abilities. Your first class change. Second, you're going to get these. We picked these up when we went the light path. Healing line, damage, CS boost. And for the third class change, we're getting multi-target, leaf saber, and spirit. So these three. So you get three abilities per class. Um, let's move on to leaf saber here. Now leaf saber. Mm, I mean the the returns on it are uh, pretty low. Uh, I suppose for maybe Angela or Reese maybe Charlotte um, but but the strength of this here is, is is not so much the MP absorb it's it's nice it's the fact that what Leaf Saber does is it's in fact a damage buff so this is uh, wood elemental um, so if if you know if they're going to be resisting things this won't work but but generally this is a damage increase and the reason why that is is because of attack saber 2 so what this does is it increases the damage you do when you have a saber active and this works on yourself and this works for your allies um, but Kevin needs to be the one to cast it uh, so you're gonna get a damage increase here so these two this is this is the main the main point here because we, without uh, attack saber you know you have all of these just to where, where are the sabers the claws so all these you should have tons of them and you could slap them on for an extra damage if you're gonna be exploiting weakness uh, where is the so the crawler claw so this is an MP saber but you're you're not gonna get the damage bonus you're you're gonna you need the attack saber and, and, and he got it so that's good so this is just solidifying his uh, his role as the support of the team um, let's go into luck before we forget so now uh, you're probably gonna want to go into luck now um, class 3 because 60% is nice and um, this is a hard debuff this is what's going to replace um, a dark path Charlotte which is not needed um, this is going to replace uh, uh, Reese and her and her defenseless defense down because um, these are hard defense buffs debuffs and uh, this is what this is what this does here. So you're gonna want to use it now. The the broken lines, the first one, uh, you really don't need it at that point in the game. Um, Thirty percent chance is um, it's decent. I mean, you're gonna be you're gonna be uh, critting a lot, especially with with Kevin. So, but you're you're really gonna want it now for the because it's higher and um, it's just. So let's go ahead and uh, max all these out. Um, we don't need that, of course. None here. None here. Alright. So let's smash through this. And uh, we'll take a look at his moveset. Okay. Alright, so with your tier 3 class change, you're going to get... Um, you're gonna complete your uh, your uh, your attacks, your combos. So we had this with the last one, four hit attack. That didn't change. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, that's fine. We can make use of that in a bit. Um, we did get a finisher off of this combo, so it would stop there. So let's let's look and see what this finisher is. Look at that. So that right there is uh, tons of crits, tons of damage. It's just amazing. Look at all those hits. 
very 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 good so uh, again the warrior monk is Kevin's uh, weakest weakest class um, has a bad CS strike and uh, has more support with multi-target heals and leaf saber but at the end of the day Kevin is the highest strength ca uh, class and he just gets an amazing combo it's just really good. Um, lots of chances for, for damage and debuffs. So let's head on down here and uh, let's go beat up on our uh, on our friends. Um, let's see. Do I need to put anything on? Uh, what did I get? Uh, we could do broken lines, leaf saber, pressure point, attack saber. Okay, so nothing now. We we don't need need to put anything on now. Let's put on our, our sabers and let's do. Wait, she already has all these. Okay, so I don't even. All right, whatever. Uh, let's see what he got. That's new. So let's do payback. Payback's always good. Um. Mm, let's do that. Let's just do this for now. So, let's go in here and uh, beat up on these guys. So, let's see if I can start getting some crits to drop. Okay, there we are. Uh, one, two, three. Actually, you know what? I'll just put broken lines on... Uh, I'll just put it on Hawk just to show you. Uh, he should be able to do. Uh, he should be able to throw out some more crits right now. Um, hmm. Where'd it go? Uh, here we are. Okay, so let's look at the damage. Easy One, two, three. Okay, so somewhere around. Uh, 130, 54, 57, somewhere around there. Oh, I see how it is. Alright. Chump. Alright. So now let's see if we can get, uh... Hmm. So 130, 140. 130. Alright, that's good enough. So now let's see if we can get a debuff on him. Come on. There we are. So you see the icons flashing now. The shield and the sword. So he's debuffed. Let's see what the damage is. So went up from 130 to 170. So... Um, this is what you'd use. You put it on Kevin, and you'd get the increase, and you'd just obliterate him. Uh, so let's show you his uh, tier three class strike. Look at that. Boom. Alrighty, um, and if you've been paying attention in the game, you'll notice that the beastmen that you fight actually use Kevin's uh, class strikes. So when you see him doing all those combos, that's that they're they're doing what Kevin's uh, class strikes are. Just interesting to note. So let's go ahead and show you the leaf saber. Let's just heal up right now. So. I mean, he's 7, 722. Pretty decent heal for a for a multi heal on. Um, yeah, everything's maxed. So I mean, if if you want to uh, increase some of these heals, you can you can do this. But this is only be for uh, Kevin himself. You'll have to get the you know. It's just nice to have. All right, so. Let's explain the 
sabers and, and, and what these sabers mean. Uh, do I have... Yeah, I have the Crawler Claw. Okay. So let's, let's give him a hit. Alright, we're at 131. 138. Alright. Leaf Saber. Same damage. 137. 39. 39. Somewhere around there. 36. Um, and, as, and as you can see, we're only getting one MP back. Um, it's... Again, the, the, the MP, the, the returns on it. Uh, that's not really what you're going to be using this for. So now let's go in here and do the Crawler Claw. So this is uh, an, uh, a Saber via an item. So the numbers are the same. 138. 34. 35. Same deal. So... When you put the saber on him, uh, this will now. There you are. You're going to see the damage go up. Look at that 65, 70, 68. So, this is what attack saber does, and this is what the leaf saber is here for. The Leaf Saber really isn't here for the MP game. I mean, we really don't care about that. Um, it's, it's, it's just not important. Simply here for the damage. Um, so now let's show you the... So I have Attack Saber have attack saber up. So now let's do a claw. There we are. Let's see what the damage is. No, 130. 35. So it doesn't work. It only works with the leaf saber spell. And this will work even if you cast it on someone else. Just for example, I'll do... Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's do let's do Hawk here. All right, 152, 57, somewhere around there, 40, 40s. Okay, so now let's do the Crawler Claw. Damage is going to be the same. Same deal. All right, now let's do. Uh, Put this on him. All right, now we got the leaf saber. Let's see what the damage is. Much higher, much higher. So this is what Kevin's role is um, in the Warrior Monk. It's to just give buffs, um, and this will work as long as they're not going to be resistant or absorbent, like a certain boss or well, certain bosses. So this is primarily what, what he's here for. Uh, the party heal still is nice. I mean, remember that you only get nine Poto Oils. Um, they're, they're rather costly if it's, if it's your first time through the game. Um, you have the Leaf Saber. Just think of this as an attack buff with a few caveats. Um, he still has the pressure point and he can increase his own damage. So the class strike is not good. Um, you're still going to be using Spin Kick. Um, it's just really good, really strong. You're still going to be using it. And he... He's just team. He's just hes just the support role. And since he still has the highest attack in the game, he's, he's more than um, sufficient as... You know, someone that you switch over to. So let's say you're going to main uh, Reese, and you're going to be down here. And you're going to do something like that, which wasn't what I wanted to do. Okay, so you're, you're using all the, you know, all the, the Reese stuff. Kevin will be in the background. Um, you know, healing... Drop in uh, leaf sabers and 
let's say he has some meter, you switch over real quick, you blow your class strike, and you just switch back to your main. So I mean he's 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 still really good. Um, okay, and then we we just switch back over to Reese and you know do our stuff, and then uh, let's take a look at some of his. Um, what he looks like when no we don't want him to do that okay so let's so the the AI almost never ever casts um, sabers on you Duran, Charlotte, Sh 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 Charlotte you're, you're never gonna see him so he'll still be here just throwing out um, heals for you. He'll buff himself if he was going to attack. Let's see if I can put it on just to show you real quick. You want to leave him on protection is paramount. That's going to be... So, he'll still do a little bit of attacking. Um, I mean, the AI is... AI is what it is. Uh, overall, if you want to use... So even in this comp, I was just messing around with it. Uh, this is what I wanted to do. Um, I had Reese as the, uh, the, the carry here. She's going to be the DPS carry. And I was... Uh, before I was changing classes to make all these, these I had a uh, hawk as the nomad, and I put Kevin as the warrior monk. And y you know the team is uh, there's 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 no real strong. I mean it would be between Kevin and Reese, but I mean you could use Kevin in a comp like this if you want to uh, have y you know uh, just three all arounders I suppose. Um, He's primarily support, but he has the attack to uh, to drop a combo, or do a class strike, or uh, leaf saber to uh, buff your uh, your main. So he's he's still good. He always has the attack, no matter what he's going to do. This is his weakest uh, weakest path and uh, weakest class, but he's still still pretty good. Um, all the classes have their pros and cons. So, I think I'll call it here. Uh, I'll see you guys again. Take care.